which would start after you sign the design agreement. That's when you would start talking to Amy and myself. Um, and what the first phase looks like is we put the design that you've picked on the site. We make sure that we're accessing the views you want to access. Um, we also show some minimal like hardscaping, so a garage, the patio space. If the design doesn't already have an integrated garage into the plan, we'll also show that attached or detached. And then we get you to approve that. And then the second phase is a more expensive package where it's, you know, perspectives in black and white. So you can see different angles of the home, um, exterior elevations. And so you'll see things like your window sizes, your door sizes, how high they are, high off, how high off the ground they are, um, things like that. Floor plan, you'll get the, you know, the room sizes, the ceiling height, you'll get all that information. So we, you can approve that as well. In between that phase and the third design phase, we do have an internal review with the rest of the design team, just to make sure structurally we're not we're not proposing anything that's not going to work for your certain jurisdiction for like snow or earthquakes or anything like that. And then civil as well, if we need to engage, if you have a sloped lot, um, if there's things that we need to engage landscape or civil into, we just want to make sure that the final design that you're signing off on, we're not there's not any surprises. When the time comes that, oh, we need to move this wall or make this door smaller or things like 